So here we are using a small angle grinder wheel on a four and a half inch angle grinder. This is what I did was cut it out at an angle just like this and then I'll come in with an actual grinding stone and grind this all down to the frame. That's both sides. This is going to be the second one we'll cut out and I'll actually show you that one how I do that on both sides as well. See that one's pretty bad though. And then here's the one I just cut out. Nothing pretty about it. Top side. Just horrible. Which is why we're replacing it. What's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Dusty the Airstream Trailer Restoration and Renovation. This episode we're just going to be focusing on actually cutting the two cross sections that need to be replaced, welding the new ones back into place as well as putting in some new brackets to hold up the new black tank, both gray tanks, and the freshwater tank. This is going to be a short and quick video. I'm not giving a full DIY tutorial on how to actually do the welding. There's tons of YouTubers out there that do that kind of stuff and I would just suggest that you watch them. Uh, but as far as actually what it takes to cut out a cross section, getting it uh, out, prepping and getting the new one ready to weld back in, that's exactly what this video is intended to. So without further ado, like as always, I'm going to turn this over to time lapse to do this work and get this video going. So here we go. All right, now that I've cut the first one out, what we're gonna do is come in with a grinder and grind all of this excess material off, get it ready and prep for the new one. One of the things I do wanna make note of is if you do happen to cut out this rear one, which doesn't have a cross section on either side, What's going to happen is, is the actual frame is going to want to open up a little bit. So make sure that when you measure, you go back to the middle of this frame itself and take your measurement there so that you get the correct measurement that you need to bring back. We are going to have to suck this in this way uh, when we get ready to weld and I'll show you that once we get closer to that portion.
All right, now that we got the two cross sections replaced, all 15 outriggers are replaced, the only welding left to do on this frame is the actual brackets that are gonna hold all of the tanks in. Two gray tanks, freshwater tank, black tank. Now granted, I ordered the black tank and the freshwater tank back in August, those still have not arrived, but I've been told that they should be on their way shortly. However, I do have two gray tanks they are in place roughly just to get some measurements and that's what we're going to finish this video off by making those brackets and getting in preparations for the other two. So with both gray tanks roughly in place where I've come to a measurement is that this bottom is going to sit about three quarters of an inch below this piece right there and that's intended for clearance on this rear axle. Now I have a distance of about an inch and a quarter from here to this top side. So I give myself about a half inch clearance, which is plenty because the brackets we're going to make are going to drop straight down this way and then we'll run it all the way back to the frame over here as well. All right guys, time to interrupt real quick. Some great news that just happened. I'm starting to cut the brackets and wife comes out and says, hey, there's a white tank and a black tank that just arrived. And I'm thinking, there's absolutely no way. I've gotten no shipping, no tracking. I literally just talked to the people yesterday about it and they were trying to figure it out if they had even been made. And lo and behold, there's the freshwater tank and our black tank super super excited which means we're gonna go ahead and continue all day today and all day tomorrow and making all the brackets needed and completing this entire video as well as all the brackets all the welding ready for primer and paint so I'm gonna turn this right back over to the work and I just want to share that quick news with you guys and we're gonna continue on and wrap this video up and call this frame officially complete
All of the welding is done, 15 outriggers replaced, two cross sections replaced, brackets made for both gray tanks and the black tank, and just like that, it's officially complete. Only thing really left to do is to clean up this mess that I've made, do a little bit of fine detail sanding around throughout the frame, and get this thing ready for primer and paint, and that's exactly what we're going to move over to do. Guys, I thank you for all the uh, comments, suggestions, all the likes that you guys have been giving me, all the continued support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Share this with your family and friends. Until next time, this is Danny, signing out.